YouTube, Eric DIY and Zachary coming at you live. We decided to have lunch outside in the cold freezing weather and 30 something degrees. But we're gonna go for it anyways. And uh, we're gonna review this Coleman party pail, which we actually used at the beach when we had our camping trip. It actually came in very handy, especially for the grate that's on top. Cause that's how I was able to cook the food without a spatula while camping there. So we're going to try lighting our lunch fire in the Coleman party pail with this electric lighter. To get our fire started today, we just have some dry lint on the bottom, right about there. We have some wood, I put the thicker pieces on the outside, and we have our electric lighter right here. So we're going to stick this right into the dry lint and hopefully get this started. Here we go, it's going right up. So as you can see, this fire is slowly roaring along. I put more wood on top of our uh, dry lint. All right, we're gonna have some lunch. We're just using it as a wood stove today. However, they do have a charcoal bucket where you can put charcoal in, and they also have a handle so that you can just dump it out right after you're done. Excellent for tailgating. So consider our lunch tailgating if you want, but we're just using some wood. We started it with some dry lint get it going and we're just waiting for the fire to build up and we'll put some hot dogs on there and have some lunch so as you can see the Coleman party pill you put your stuff on just like a grill and then we're actually using our outdoor anywhere marshmallow roasting sticks to turn these but the fire is pretty hot so I gotta move some stuff around here the great thing is though if it's really hot you can grab this on the edge here that's not hot to the touch and you can lift it right out of the fire and serve from there so you can bring this elsewhere. I'm gonna finish cooking up these hot dogs and sausages and then uh, have some lunch. Hot dogs and sausages cooking really fast. Again, if you had charcoal, you could probably control the temperature a little bit better, but we're doing your traditional camping with wood fire here. We'll die down in a little bit. And uh, for the wood, honestly, I just use sticks that I dried out for a couple months. So uh, if you're out in the wild and camping, this is also another awesome thing to have because you could just find some dry kindling or whatever, bring some uh, fire starter or whatever you need and get this going. It also has really great surface area here. I mean, I've got four sausages, two hot dogs. Uh, this would be perfect for, uh, I know we had hamburgers on this during the beach and I was able to cook like three or four of them on this. All right, now that we've had it cooking for a while, I'm gonna grab this again. This handle is not hot, so that's an awesome feature to have. I'm just gonna sit right on this rock. It's not gonna touch anything, we'll keep the fire going. So I think we're gonna try and make some hot chocolate after we have some lunch here. I wanted to show you that on the side, don't know if you can see it, but there's little breather ports for the air to go in, for the fire, and the party pail. So it's gonna keep things going as long as you use dry wood. It's getting late here. We had our lunch, and I actually left this pail out for a night because it was still kind of smoking at the end so I left it just in the fire pit to uh, cool off and uh, I'm going to show you how easy it is to empty it out. Now also it did rain here so we got some water in there but you have this removable insert there that silver bowl right here around the edge you can actually take that out and if you have charcoal you can toss it that way uh, I'm going to take it out and just toss the wood that is now I'm going to take that and toss that into the woods and the pail itself is pretty good. Notice that also has ventilation holes on the side, which goes with the bucket so that we can get oxygen to the fire. But uh, yeah, very easy cleanup. I'm just gonna take this wood and throw it out into the woods and get the rest of it. And that's it for cleanup. The pail itself is clean and the inner bowl is good for removing charcoal and wood and stuff like that. You can also easily transport the grill with this nice handle that they have and it has a spring-like thing on there to protect your hands. Uh, it does take a little space. It's not for compact camping or anything like that, but it is an awesome grill to have. It's excellent for tailgating, excellent for uh, taking your five-year-old, almost six-year-old, I can't believe he's getting that old, out in the front yard and cooking a little lunch, just to have a little adventure. It's not that advanced technologically, but it's a very convenient item to have. Definitely gonna use this tailgating for sports and stuff as well as camping. If you're looking for a very easy cleanup, no messing grill, cook food, or just to have a fire in it to have a little warmth, I mean the party pail seems to be an excellent choice. So I do highly recommend it. 
If you would like to purchase the Coleman Party Pail, please look for a link in the description below. We'll send you to Amazon. We can purchase your very own. Every purchase will help support the Eric DIY channel. We appreciate all your support. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please give us a thumbs up and push that subscribe button below. Also, while you're down there, please push on the bell notification icon so that you will be notified of future Eric DIY video releases. We appreciate everything you do for us. Thank you and have a great day. As always, if you like this video, found it useful, please subscribe. And if you have a product that you would like reviewed, please contact Eric by emailing him at eric5150diy at gmail.com. Have a great day.